welcome to Alpha Militaria TV. Thanks very much for tuning in once again. My name is Richard Saunders. Now I'm going to start like I always do by saying thank you to everyone who has subscribed to the channel because we genuinely do appreciate it. And invite anyone who's perhaps come across us for the first time to hit that subscribe button and that like button as well. And you can also support the channel in another couple of ways by looking at the links below to our newly launched shop and also to some products on Amazon that I use on a regular basis. Now then, back to our video. So we're continuing our look at MTC optic scopes today. Um, and you may have seen a little while ago that I reviewed the MTC swap prismatic scopes, the zero eye relief scopes. Very, very short, very, very compact scopes. Um, but MTC have another couple of zero eye relief scopes as well. They have um, the MTC Viper Connect series, which comprises two scopes, a three to 12 by 32, which is this one, and a three to 12 by 24. Now, as I say, they're both zero eye relief. And what I mean by zero eye relief is that unlike a conventional scope that is designed for recoiling rifles, you have to put your eye sort of three, three and a half inches behind the scope to give you enough room for that gun to recoil and to avoid the, the scope hitting you in the eye. Now, because zero eye relief scopes are designed for PCP air rifles, and very low uh, firing uh, rimfire like 22NR where there's no recoil. You can put your eye right up against the end of the scope because it's not going to come back and give you a black eye. And the advantage of that is mainly uh, the field of view uh, that, you, that you gain. And we'll talk about that in a little while. Now, I would absolutely love to be able to show you some footage through the scope. Um, I really would, but as you can see, there's lots going on on this scope. There's five different turrets, the mounts are right at the front here. It's very short anyway, and I just can't get my uh, scope cam equipment onto the scope to show you what it's like through the scope. So I apologize for that. You'll just have to take my word that it's very, very clear, very, very crisp, very good colors, and there's no distortion at all throughout the whole magnification range. I say, sorry about that, but it is what it is. Now, um, <clears throat> the Viper um, Connect scopes are um, ideal for hunting. Um, I really love these scopes for hunting and um, they are probably best suited to bullpup, semi bullpup and tactical rifles as well um, rather than sporter rifles, sporter stock rifles. Now you absolutely can put this on a sporter stock rifle but you just need to make sure that you can get the right eye relief in the right position um, given the um, the mounting, um, the unique mounting position on this rifle and the fact that you need zero eye relief. Um, as I said, great for hunting, but if you want to use this for HFT, you know, that's it's a great scope for that too. And if you just want to shoot in the garden or informally, you know, informal target shooting on the range, this will seat you down to the ground as well. In terms of cost, you're looking at around about 280 to 300 pounds, um, depending on which version that you go for. Um, now they're, they're both 287 millimeters long. Uh, the three to 12 by 32 weighs 650 grams and the three to 12 by 24 weighs 600 grams. Now to put that into perspective, both of those are much shorter and much lighter than a conventional scope of the same kind of performance. Um, but at 600 grams, um, that's twice the weight of the smallest swap prismatic and getting on for, twi uh, for twi uh, twice the length as well. So although these are very, 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 very small, very light, very com compact, they're not as light and compact as the swap scopes. Um, they're both based on a 30 millimeter uh, tube, so they, they absorb lots of light and transfer it to your eye. Um, and obviously the, the 3 to 12 by 32 has a 32 mil objective lens and the 3 to 12 by 24 has a 24 mil objective lens. And in terms of field of view, they're about the same, the two products. Now field of view is basically the, the landscape, the breadth of landscape that you see through the scope. Um, now at 100 meters on 12 times magnification, um, you will see about 17 feet of, of landscape um, at 100 meters. Um, but on three times magnification, that goes up to about 61 feet of landscape at 100 meters, which is much, much um, bigger than you would get on a conventional scope at the same magnification levels. Now, a particular importance um, to air gunners is the fact that you can adjust the parallax on this scope. 
It's adjustable via a dial on the side and we'll show you all the dials in close up in a little while. Um, and that power axle will go down to, to just 10 meters. Uh, the turrets are, um, MO, uh, are MOA turrets and one click will adjust your point of impact by a quarter of an inch at 100 yards. So at, uh, at 50 yards, that's an eighth of an inch. And at 25 yards, you'll be, you'll be adjusting your point of impact by just a sixteenth of an inch with each click on the turret. So that means obviously if you go down the range, you put a target out to zero your rifle and you're six inches out, then you'll need to adjust that by the, the elevation and the windage turrets. Um, and each time you click it, you're adjusting that point of impact by just a sixteenth of an inch at 25 yards. Um, you get a choice of two different um, uh, reticles. On this, you get either the AMD reticle or the SCB2 reticle. The SCB2 is the reticle that most uh, MTC scopes with, come with. Both great reticles, very, very clear, lots of aim points on them as well. Um, and also um, the, the reticle is illuminated as well. And what's quite, what's quite good about this is that the illumination, uh, the illuminated, illuminated reticle is switched on and off by a button on the side here, and then adjusted for brightness um, via uh, this turret at the top here. Um, and we'll show you that, as I say, in a little bit more detail. Um, you'll also get a couple of uh, lens caps front and back for this. You also get a rubber eye cup as well. Now the, the, eye, the eye cup isn't, doesn't suit everyone. Um, I tend to take mine off because um, I, I shoot with glasses quite a lot and I can fog the glasses up with the eye cup as well. Um, and right at the back, I should have said before, there is a, a collar back here uh, to enable you to um, make a, uh, to adjust the, uh, the focus of the actual reticle itself and bring it into sharp relief. Um, so I think that's um, everything. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna um, zoom in on some of the features on the rifle and then we will uh, talk about them in a little bit more detail as well. Now there are quite a few turrets on the uh, MTC Viper Connect scopes and it can be a little bit confusing at first glance but in actual fact it's, it's quite straightforward. Um, looking uh, from at the scope you know from the from back to front um, this turret up here is your elevation turret that's fairly standard this turret down here is your windage turret, that's the same as well. And then if we turn the rifle round, get you back into shot again. This turret here is the um, Paranax adjustment, nice and smooth. And then this button, this uh, turret here is actually a button and that switches the illuminated reticle on and off. And then the turret at the top here is actually a dial which enables you to select the level of brightness that you want the reticle uh, to appear in. And what's good about that is that you can select the level of brightness or the intensity of brightness that you want um, by turning the dial here. And then when you're ready to use the illuminator reticle, just push the button on and that will switch the reticle on um, straight away to your uh, preset brightness level so you don't have to scroll through all the other, all the other brightness levels to get to it um, and then when you're finished you just push the button and you switch the illuminated reticle off again. Now the windage and uh, the elevation and windage turrets are both uh, screw caps so to access the dial you need to first of all remove the cap by unscrewing it and then that reveals the, the dial inside, which you can adjust with your fingers. No need for tools or coins or anything like that. And it, it does, it, it adjusts nice and precisely. The clicks are very, very defined. And as I said before, um, one click equates to a quarter of an inch adjustment of point of impact at 100 yards. So that's an eighth of an inch at 50 yards and a sixteenth of an inch at 25 yards. Um, but those, um, that, those clicks make, allow you to make really precise adjustment. And then when you finish making your adjustments, just return the cap and screw it back on again. So that's our quick rundown of the MTC Viper Connect, the 3 to 12 by 32 model. There you go, that's the other side of it. I hope you found that of interest. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as well. It really does help us out. 
And if you'd like information on a whole range of other topics, including the MTC scope range, then check out our website, which is www.alphamilitaria.com. Thanks for watching.